Whoops, I forgot to start the recording. So we are actually up a game against five color bring to light. Gabby stuck with the green, black, gray, and still lives in her lives. Uh, I want the summoning traps because I think our stuff will actually be countered. Maybe I don't want the sudden shocks actually. Maybe I don't want the lightning bolts either. Maybe I'll bring one. No, not 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 anger the gods. Jesus, one sudden shock, two sudden shocks. Bring to crayons. Yeah, that's it. In fairness, bring to light scape shift is very different than titan shift. It's much more combo control than titan shift, which is more mid range with a cheap finish. Fair enough. Wow, this hand is some hot steaming pile of garbage. Can we ever keep a seven? I don't think it's possible. We will keep this one. Search for tomorrow. We're on the draw. We get to suspend this on Thursday morning. This is sweet. Let's put it on top. Can't be perplexed when with the colorless crayons. Even back then, she knew where it was. <laughs> you guys, I was the kind of kid who colored in the lines when they were like very young. I was that kind of kid. Suspend. I'm dying to know where the I'm pretty story was going. Wait, what? You guys are making up lies. Our opponent was on the mono basics land. Basics? Yo, if we draw- oh my gosh, please one time let us draw sudden shock. Please. Please. Please let us. It's always yield to this. Please. So close. Uh, don't think we want to draw more land, so let's just crack this. Practicing Jeff is pretty good too, help you read signals better. Uh, Tango Orange, it's not. We just have a lot more cards that we take out, so we bring in some cards. Like, we're replacing the bolts with Sudden Shock, and then we get their Sakura Tribe Elder and get them real good. <sighs> yeah, I'll get Stomping Ground. Yeah, it's for Infect. You get Infect real good. You can also kind of get Affinity with it, too. Nahiri, are they gonna use it? They pitched the Bayloth. Since we're not planning, I get yeah. We're just gonna use the card tribe elder to attack Nahiri, I suppose. Let's cast this. Yeah, let's get mountain. We drew a bloodstain mire because we're lame like that. Uh, we'll play another Bloodstained Mire, I suppose. Attack Nahiri. Oh yeah, this is looking awful. It's okay, we're up a game. So, hey, super originality. You may discard a card if you do draw a card. Where's your madness, bro? Uh, bring to light. Okay. I'm good. Thank you, super originality. Farseek? Sure. I accept. Crack this bloodstain mire. Uh, we can get a cinder glade now. Another wooded photo. Excuse me, please stop drawing this nonsense, please. I think we could have sacked Steve. We could have sacked Steve so that we had enough mana for summoning trap, actually. That we could have done. I think maybe that was better. We just can't let this thing get to alt. You may draw a card, but you discard a card. I'm real cool. Okay. It's back in their deck now. Yeah, epic. That's what I was saying. Let's get the other Cinder Glade.
That was a lethal turn time. We, you, we can't... We can't do the breach right now, though. We can do the breach next turn. Ooh, explore. So let's... Attack Nahiri. No, please don't kill it. Ugh. Vomit. Sack it. I guess we just play like a mountain. We can summoning trap hope we had prime time and with a trigger. Explore into prime time. We can't explore into prime time. I think we have to hard cast trap hope to hit prime time. Hit like play. I shouldn't have. Oh no, I, I had to play my land. Get like Valakut and a mountain and shoot Nahiri. I think that's our play. Cause we just die if she if she ultimates here. How do you guys want me? How do you guys want me to explore this turn? That seems. I think we're gonna have to hard cast this. We hit the prime time. Nice. What if she ultimates into Snapcaster? <laughs> Use the Primeval Tide's ability. I'm sure it'd be a great play if that were the case, Louise. Get Valakit and Mountain. And shoot this here. Use the ability. Redirect to Nahiri. Okay, now she's at five. to seven discarding a bolt sacred foundry I might get owned they're gonna bring to light like damnation here I feel it ew scape shift all right we're dubs would fetching stomping ground not have been better there since it was going to be tapped anyway Uh, yeah. Yeah, it actually is better, Rx. Yep, that's more than enough. Alright, let's go to game three. Are we doing neon rings? I'm not sure I understand Syphy. Uh, let's just send it back in though. I'm meant to explore, draw a creature. Play Bloodstained Myra, then Trap or Breach. We don't have enough mana to do both though. I would like to play first. This hand is fine. Dunian rings. Dunian rings. <laughs> Prepto was the first card to reveal. Should we have one with explore? But I think that's being Roddy, right? If we know like that prime time was the top card of our deck, I would not want to pay. Another through the breach. Mm. Yeah, this was far seek. Dunyan rings. I, dude, I love Dunyan rings. That's like one of the best things I've seen. 
Uh, two or more basics I don't have yet, so I'll get a stomping ground and not. Well, have you played an extra land from Explore? But then we're still having to bank on the fact that there's a prime time on top of our deck, as opposed to just like casting summoning trap or like, you know what I mean. Nice. We have two Sacred Tribe Elders, which I think we should just like play and cast, and then next, or we could just like go Obstinate Veil off this turn, and then next turn go like Steve, Steve. Because we have no rush to get more lands, right? Because we don't really have like prime time right now. And that through the breach doesn't do anything. So yeah, I think we just cast. Um... You want to send in the elders? I think I want to get the obstinate bailoff down. I can through the breach of bailoff. I don't think. Do you guys really think it's double elder? Steve, in case of Emrakul draw. Hey prison. Uh, no, we played dead. I'll play dead by daylight. Maybe later today. I'm not sure. I'm kind of have a lot of stuff to do before. In the slash packs, so. I think I want Obstinate Bailoth. Don't you want to put yourself in a position to immediately through the breach if you get something? That's fair. That's fair. Um, I wonder if I should be worried about them having Sudden Shock. I'll sack my first one. Steve, sure, sure. If we draw a prime time, I want to hard cast it, so I think I'm just gonna sack it now. Ho oh, Dope. Cast. One, two, three, four, five. This deck is dumb. <laughs> we did that so many times today. So many times it looks like we were gonna die and then we're just like, oh what, we top dumb are cool. Great. Yeah, sack it all, son. That's right. <laughs> I think we're gonna throw the breach and obstinate bail off next turn. It's gonna be great. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Cast one, two. Three, four, five. <laughs> they, didn't even, they didn't even see. I could have had nothing. I could have had nothing. They didn't even see what I had. <laughs> we could have been angling. Seriously. We did a chat. Chat. Actually, chat had a fantastic play and, and it actually paid out. It paid off because we happened to draw the armor cool right there. It was great. All right, uh, so just like now, quick conclusion to this uh, diving into modern red green breach. Uh, the deck was fine. It seems kind of clunky, um, like as it actually played. It seemed like a lot of our hands were not very keepable because you have to draw a combination of early ramp and payoff cards. And you have two different combos within the deck. You have Valica and Mountains, particularly five or more. And then you have Through the Breach and Emrakul. And so I feel like a lot of the hands that we had... I feel like a lot of the hands that we had were like half of some... half of part one of the combo and then like another part of the combo. And sometimes it'd be like, oh, we have the Emrakul and all the early ramp and then nothing else. Or like, oh, we have, all we have is big creatures and summoning traps and nothing that does anything. Uh, apart from like, basically it's like a mulligan because we have like two Emrakuls in hand. So um, the deck seems a, feels a little clunky for that reason, but it also seems like it can just like randomly steal games out of nowhere because in a game where you had no business winning, you can just sometimes go like breach Emrakul and win. So. That was fun. I hope you learned something uh, new about Red Green Breach today. 
Um, and uh, I stream every day on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash gabbysparts. I'll probably put something in the YouTube video right here. Boop. And also, I film other videos like this, so if you would like to learn about other modern videos, you can probably check it out right there. Uh, thank you, YouTube. Say, say hi to your YouTube self, Twitch chat. Bye-bye.